historically speaking, Carlina Tongatea would have an advantage, but Hagata covering a lot of ground in 2024 on her deadlifts. Let's see what transpires. Carlina Tongatea, two-time world champion, defending her title against Sheffield champion Agatha Shiko moving up from the 69s. And if you do not know Agatha Shiko, you have not been paying attention to powerlifting. This is the only competition so far she hasn't won. 200 kilos ordinarily would be a big opener for her. Moves very well. And here is the defending world champion, Carlina Tongatea. Carlina, the first 76 to total 600 kilos, finds herself in a heavily hyped showdown against Agatha Shitko. Lightning fast into the hole, a little bit sticky on the way up. I think she's got plenty left in the tank though. But that's 207.5, that's five kilos more than she's ever done raw. A little bit of stiff work for a second. We know Agatha can grind. Here comes Carlina Tongatea, looking for 225 for her second. Hopefully this is pacing towards a squat world record attempt for her third. But it's gonna be close here. She's gonna need every kilo she can squeeze out. This is a very tight race. catch by the swatters wow. and that was some heart ladies and gentlemen albeit a little bit surprising very surprising and how much energy has she used she fought that bar for a long time now Agatha Shiko herself only going up two and a half kilos her second attempt was more difficult than they probably originally anticipated we could have some shakeups Winning the squat wasn't on the table, but she does need these kilos, even this two and a half. Ooh. Again, this is a bit of a messy squat session. This might be pivotal. This is where Carlina collects a lot of her kilos. It is not in the script for Carlina to move forward with 217.5 in squat when she's hit 230.5. 230's off the table, but she really needs 225. forward and it's not going she is not in her best form today looks a little bit distressed that she exits the platform and this really opens the door for Shitko it's already interesting and it could shake up the entire podium if I'm honest in the projected she's just 10 kilos behind and that's just a missed lift yeah I get, Shitko. I get to misses one Carlina hits and the battle continues. Now here comes the bench queen. She holds the world record in the 69 kilo class, the 76 kilo class, the 84 kilo class. Opening with 147 and a half. Wow. That was so easy. Three white lights. 154.5 is the world record. Here's Kalina Tongatea. She's going to want to squeeze out every kilo on bench that she possibly can. It's going to be difficult for her to pick up all the kilos she lost in the squad event. She can mitigate that loss. What do you anticipate Team New Zealand loads for her third? I think it's going to be two and a half because you can't afford to miss. Now here's Agatha Shitko. Earlier in her career, I would have said she would have gone for the world record straight away for sure. Although I think she'll go for it next. But it was a proper call. Two so benches remain for the women. This is Carlina Tongatea, 132 and a half. We're a fair way outside what she's done in the past. going anyway it can happen when you feel that the weight's too heavy you go early because the the longer it's on your chest you're bleeding power now here we go 155.5 for Agatha Shitko that can only mean it's a world record wow and that was smooth you know what she almost looked a little surprised herself how easy that was and again three white lights Joe
Alina Tongatea now fighting for her life, fighting for her world title. Opening with 232 and a half. And her having to dead first. Obviously a clear disadvantage. And it's not the snap that's open there either. It isn't. At this point, the battle turns into a hunt. She looks like a woman in control. 235 on the bar. See how this moves. That's trouble. That's big trouble. I, I don't even know what to say. I think it's her day. We have Carlina Tongatea on the platform right now. 240 on the bar. Carlina, I don't know if she's pacing for that 255. At this point, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't think she's chasing Agato, but she's defending silver. That's near top end and her silver medal is a vulnerable position at this point. Agatha Shitko is charging the platform. This will be a junior total world record at 608. This is the first time she's been north of 600. She's got more, Ryan. Yeah, 608 by her second, and she is really asserting herself in this 76 kilo class. Carlina in silver medal position here. He is not pulling for the win. It is too far out of range. 245 on the bar to try and keep the silver medal. She will lose her world title, but all is not lost. She will get silver and a shot at World Games. What a way to end it for her gutsy final pull. Thanks to the crowd. Wasn't the day she wanted, but still, three Her for three in dead. As world champion has come to an end, or at least a pause. 250 on the bar. This will give her the open and the junior total world records. 613 kilos if she hits this. Agatha Shipko, your current 76 kilo world champion. She finally knocked down the bugbear. She finally took the classic world title. There's not much left for her to do. Yeah, she also said she wanted that head-to-head -head against Carlina to get revenge and a win over her. She's got both now. And there it is! I got the shit go in a brilliant performance. She is the world record holder. She's the world champion. She could finally put that last remaining notch in her belt. World champion in classic, world champion in equipped, world game Sheffield, a legend in the making. And Shitko wept for there were no more worlds to conquer.